All right, good morning, everyone. <clears throat> We're looking at uh, let's see, we're looking at the NASDAQ here. So let me uh, let me see what uh, we're looking at. Got to get some up here. It's not that's not showing up. Indicators, Google bar. Let's have a look at a few other markets right quick. We got Texas T. <clears throat> we got the S and P five hundred. NASDAQ we got the Russell that might look okay I have several charts as I am looking at different <coughs> different time zones. That is way too loud. Okay, short trade. I'm having a hard time seeing with my with my glasses on. Mm. So as you can see by the slightly higher time frame on the left hand side, I'm going to target this previous low. I'm currently four ticks in the positive. This is the Russell, um, this is a Renko chart. <clears throat> Take a cup of coffee. It's uh, 12 or 13 uh, ticks <clears throat> is the target here. We'll just have to wait that out a little bit. Went from plus four, which was green, to a minus four. So kind of anticipating the price to run down this way. <clears throat> I recently favor the um, Russell, the NASDAQ is a bit fast uh, sometimes. The ES is a bit more slow. Um, we also have the Aussie, uh, the Euro, <clears throat> and the Japanese Yen. Using the Renko chart makes things extremely um, I don't want to say uh, smooth, but yeah, it does smoothen out the 
the chart movements um, because all the candles are uh, standard size with the bricks. Let's see. about five minutes um, and a half into this video it goes really really quick We wanted to see what it looks like on the higher time frame. This is what I see on my left screen. <clears throat> here is my account info, and here is my uh, my trades, and here is the volume and everything else. And then these are the what we'll call the entry chart and then on the left of that is the anchor chart one need to show a certain thing here which somehow there we go <clears throat> be happening here a little bit. I'll lock in a few lock in more ticks. I'll try to kind of follow a few candles uh, behind. Currently it's a risk free trade because I've locked in uh, some profit by moving my stop, which is this red uh, line. And I'm going to have a lot of slippage if I get stopped out. Okay. It's still a positive trade, but it was only good for plus three ticks. <clears throat> Plus one would cover commissions, so it's still not too, too bad. But I'd much rather it would have ran through my, uh, my stop. Okay, so in way of uh, journaling my trades, this is why I label my I label my charts and as you can see over here I take a picture of it <clears throat> and I'm able to save that in a specific place named a specific way so 
So here we are talking. Okay, so we'll end this here. This is just the one, um, the one trade that I took. And uh, like I said, it was good for only three ticks. Uh, my target was it would, it would have been about 10.